a first step that I did to, to really get to the truth about those voices in, in my head was to realize that, that that was my addict talking. So I picked a name for my addict. Naming something is really powerful. Mm -hmm. Naming gives what's being named a separate and clear identity. It, it's similar to when a, when a planet was discovered and given a name or, or a disease. I, na I named the addict voice in my head Porgy, as in Georgie Porgy. Uh, but it's not a nickname for me, George. No, it's a name for my addict. There's a difference. You see, I'm not my addict. You're not your addict. James isn't his addict. James, do you remember when you picked an yeah, addict name? Yeah, I really do, I do. Uh, picking my addict's name was actually easy for me, though, because I, I chose the name Jamie because the kids in my neighborhood used to call me that name. You know, as it turned out, it was perfect cases. We had a girl in my class by that same name, and I sure didn't want anyone to think that I had a girl's name. That was my private hell. So I went, to, I went to great lengths to keep that name a secret. So it was the perfect name for everything I, was, I felt ashamed of and wanted to keep hidden. Does that sound about right, George? It does. It does.